I have three kids at home. We all have devices, my wife, yep. myself. I've got a phone in my pocket at all times, except at night when I need to charge it. Mm -hmm. My kids each have, you know, we have a variety of phones that the kids share for video games and for chatting and things like that. So there's always stuff hanging out of wall outlets. Oh my We've goodness. got a wall wart with a cable and people fighting over, hey, he's using my charger and <laughs> yeah. always, it's just the way it is. So. Jeff, you talked about a couple of weeks ago how you've come up with a solution for kind of centralizing your charging station. And it really yes. made me think. And I started looking and I found a, a pretty fantastic device that uh, that I think you're uh, you're going to yeah. show us today. The G cord. Yeah. So, I mean, I, you're right. I do have another device. It's not the G cord. Uh, I bought it around Christmas time. Yeah. And it is a six bank um, docking station that um allows the kids to place their phones but we have again three kids but between them they have their old phones and their new phones right yeah they don't want to give up the old phones because well my minecraft files are on that old phone. yeah so <laughs> all in all i think there's like six phones and two tablets and, sure. and it's like there's same deal chargers everywhere and everywhere. then one goes missing and I'm like this is ridiculous but we also had the issue of they were sneaking them at night and we're like we need a centralized location where it's like, I know where they all are. So we got this charging port and they all just sit there. And so, yeah, it's been, it's been great. And so does this so have that feature got. where if the kids grab it after nine, it zaps them? <laughs> uh, no, oh, that is, that, would that be is frowned upon. Feature request. <laughs> it deletes all of your files. There you go. <laughs> hey, that's, that's what I'm telling the kids. <laughs> okay. If you touch the phone after nine while it's on the charging station, it will delete everything. That's Ooh, a great one. there you that. go. I like that. No. A charging station sounds like a great idea for me because it puts everything in one place and it and it gets rid of all the cable clutter. Yes. So can yeah. we see what, what yeah. you have here? Okay, so this is uh, from G-Cord. It is a six-port, 10-amp USB charging station. Now, I will say right off the hop, what caught me off guard from the box is at the side it says quad USB. Like, but it's six-port. Okay. Why is it quad USB? It's because you've got different types of USB. So there is oh. a... Um, there's three piece eight pin, there's two piece micro USB, and then one type C. Oh. Interestingly okay. enough. So my phone is type C, but mine is the only one that's type C within our household. Everything else is USB micro. Right. Although there is one Apple device which uses the old Apple interface. Yeah, I don't I don't think we have so, Apple at home. So, so all right, I'm it gonna came with some cables. It does come with that's some it. cables. Okay. Uh, but I'm gonna open this up. So I'm just okay. gonna slice through that and place that over here. So um what do we have in here? Starts with... I like that it's 10 amps. So you've got yeah. like one cable going to the outlet and you don't have to have mm -hmm. like a whole bunch of chargers, right? It's just one thing. Box is empty. Nice. All right. So it is a six port or um, six channel. So, okay. all right. To start with, here's your various cables. Yeah. And okay. So these are... Oh. So it came with little short, okay. like one yes. foot, one foot cables. These are, uh, I've got a USB-C and two USB micros. Yeah. So they're just nice little short cables and tied with a tie wrap. And these are your Apple connections. Okay. Oh. So it so. came with it. So these are just tr like for your Android phones. Yep. And, and then these are for, for Apple. Apple phones. So if you are using this, <laughs> <laughs> but if you are using this and all you have is Android, three is not going to be enough. So you need to make right. sure that you've got the right. Okay. So when connection. you buy this. What do you do, Jeff? You buy some extra ones. All right, look at it. Oh, and they're color coded. Sweet. Yeah, so we got some nice color coded ones, which my kids would absolutely love because yeah. then they'd be able to say, "Well, I've got the pink one, I've got the blue one," and you know, it solves everybody's problems based on the color coding. <laughs> Perfect. Things you have to do to like stop fights at home. It's crazy. Oh, those are nice too. So yeah, these are very nice. All these right. are these do not come with it, so you have to buy separately. So whatever works for you. So we got three with it. Well, two USB micro and one USB C. Yes. And then we've got a bunch, just a pack, a sorted pack here. Now, everything that you see is available at cat5.tv slash charger. Yeah. You're right. These are nice. Yeah. yeah Check those out. Nice. They, these are like wound woven, those nice cables, but they're color coded. So the kids will love that. All right. So I have unboxed. Okay. Really what we have is you have the base unit. Mm -hmm. Is there a uh, power cord? I'll plug in the power yeah. cord while you're describing in this. the power cord, you have the instructions that are... Just not simple fallout. Not a wall wart. 
No. Just so you know. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this yeah. is just going to go right into your, your outlet nicely. And your plastic plexi dividers. So cool. these are like heavily sealed. <laughs> separate these puppies somehow. Use your teeth. I, it's like air compressed. Oh, wow. <laughs> they're vacuum sealed. Yeah, vacuum sealed. Oh, my God. oh, here we go. This one. Oh, they're not vacuum sealed. They're just oh, stuck stickers. on either side. Yeah. <laughs> okay. My goodness, that one feels vacuum sealed. This has got power now, Jeff. Oh, perfect. Okay. Well, I'm not going to plug it in yet because I'm going to be playing around with these. But All right. Is there a special way these go in? Does not look. Oh, yes, there is. Okay. So you can't really see it, but there's little notches here. Which prevents you from putting this in backwards. So if I do that, it's not going in because there's uh, little yeah, yeah. nobules there. Is that a nobules? Then they, oh, it clicks in. Perfect. So oh. come out. All right, grab another one. Do you want me to help? Yeah, I can help. Yeah, sure. Here, do you want to? Yeah. You do the. There All right. This, is, this takes three, folks. It's teamwork. This is crazy. How many? Invite some friends over. How many techies does it take to put dividers on a cell phone there charging station? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. All right. There, okay. So we can get two phones in there. Look at this team action. So much happened. faster. Four. I'm so I competitive. Can't get into I'm this like, one. See, so exactly. I win. Yeah. I win. I win. Okay. See, so, Give me another one. Like, here. This is the one I struggled with. Okay. <laughs> All right. Getting these suckers in there. I feel like if you're the person who changes the garbage nice. at home and then you need to open the bag, the new bag that's all stuck together, you know. Yes. The trick. All right. All right. Last <laughs> one's going in. Okay. There we go. All right, USB-C. It has been assembled. My... Okay. Okay, so uh, right away what I can see on it, you have your physical switch button for power. Yeah. Uh, your connectors are all on one side, interestingly enough. So the one, the unit I have at home, the connectors are on either side. So I've got oh. three and three. Oh. What I like about that is it prevents all the cords from jumbling up on one side. Right. This one, they're all on one side. So your device is going to have to sit because it's a short cable with the charging port going that way. So depending okay. on any case you have on your phone or any, anything like that, yeah. it may cause problems, but just for plugging it in, oops, of course. It's USB, time. you gotta do it yep. three different ways. That's right, yeah. yeah. So, but it just sticks in quite simply. All right, uh, let's cool. find the one for... This is pretty simple tech, folks, but yeah. Yeah. it really, I did a USB-C for my phone. Oh, perfect, okay. It's already connected to my phone, because I thought, hey, we so, can actually try like see if it, it in. see if it explodes or if it charges. It's going to do one of those two things. Yeah, those are the only two options. You're going to learn one day the way to plug it in. I know. So that I, you I only have I to do it, it once. Out, I haven't. So, okay. So that is plugged in the yeah. charge or the um, actual power cable connects here to the side. I do and like that it's just a single power cord and then just a couple of Oh, is it charging so, right now? Yeah. It is. Did it come on? Yeah, it did. It is charging. So I've powered it on. Yeah. You can see that. Oh, no, it was off. Now it's on because the blue lights kicked on. Oh, neat. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. His can you guys see that? On? blue light right there. I don't know if I, if I were to dim the lighting in the studio here, I don't know if you'd be able to see that a little bit better. Oh, maybe. Tip Perhaps. it up, Jeff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So a little bit. see the blue light now. And when I turn it oh, off. Oh, I noticed that it's only, the blue light is only on on the one that, the two that are plugged in. Oh. Oh, look at that. Look at you, you observant fella. So, yeah, okay, so you've got the power and then the one that it's plugged in. So let's in. plug in more That's and see cool. what happens. So let's see plug everything in. The connector, connector your phone? For Where's your phone? phone? I can get my phone. What, what are you looking for? C? Yeah. I only have one C. All right. You got to buy the right cables, folks. But there's find, one that came Find with, right? the one. Well, I'm using it on my phone. But where's phone these C. threaded ones? Those are all C, uh, USB micro. Oh, okay, so you didn't get yep. a diversified pack. Okay, fine. Yep. All right, well, let's test it this way. If I move the connector to another port. Yeah. It did. Yes, it I lights up. Bang on. Charging. Look okay. at that. Cool. Look at that. So Sasha. we actually okay. see the blue lights up. Oh. USB-C as well? Yep, USB-C. Sorry, Sasha. What? Um, okay, so <laughs> it is phone. in there. It is charging. This one has, I believe, built-in surge protection and stuff like that. Like that's one of the concerns yes. that you have. So it has built-in surge protection. It also has intelligent charging with over voltage, overcharge, and over current protection. Nice. Mine does not have that. Mm. And truthfully, when I was looking for a banking station, that wasn't something I was thinking of. I just wanted right. the be ability multi, to have all the phones. Power ports. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, so that's a nice, very nice feature. Um, and it is 10 amp, 50 watt total power. Mm. 
what I don't see, though, is fast charge. I don't mm. see that either. And, and it's a good comment because that's one of the questions we're going to get. So, yeah. no, it looks like it's just straight, like, just regular charge. regular charge power. Yep. Now, this particular one. Now, I'm sure those exist, but, I mean, we're talking about charging six devices simultaneously. Which is pretty impressive. It's pretty good from a single power. I, I also like the stability of this one, Jeff. It's very solid. Doesn't move. Now, one thing I noticed about the one that I had at home, for the life of me, I can't think of the model or the, the brand that mm -hmm. it is. There's and a I, lot out there. Like, just, Oh, there's tons. Yeah, yeah. Search for them. But what I wanted to check with yours is the gap between the uh, placement spots. Oh. So my phone has a bit of a, a dip on the back. Right. Where it's a bit it, thicker. Yeah, it is thicker. Mm -hmm. And so your phone sits quite nicely. It's leaned back. Mm -hmm. okay. When I put mine in, because of that, it sits up Does pretty that, much. Okay. Does that Now, does I, that if matter? you go forward. That bothersome? Well, what it does create a problem is if, you ha if you're trying to organize all your devices succinctly, it doesn't work as well if one of them's falling forward, it bounces them all around, especially you if you color got code your phones when you put them in the charger. No, but for the one I have at home, <laughs> I have to do it in a certain order because of the different case sizes. Ah. Otherwise, one goes forward, they all fall. Oh, okay. You've got a right. tablet, it knocks them out. So ah, okay. be aware of that. Like so my there's all these things that you wouldn't even up. think about. Yeah. Exactly. Because of the, the gap. I mean, that's, that's finger width. That's it. Right. So it's not like it's a big gap. If you have a my tablet, gap. your tablet's going to sit fairly Pretty high snug. up. Yeah. yeah. So be aware of that. But otherwise, that's a, that's a nice little... Uh, <laughs> okay, this sucker's small. <laughs> yeah. Any any guesses? Any guesses? iPod first generation. Nice. It's crazy. Yeah. It doesn't even have, like the when they came with the like full touch screen. But that fits quite nicely. But yeah, I mean if you have a tablet or something, it's gonna sit a little bit higher. And you can see like mine is back on an angle now because that little knob is not there. But if you had a, a, a tablet with a thicker case, it's gonna sit straight up. There's no give. And the chance with that is if you accidentally bump it, you could potentially break the plastic. So just be aware. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I guess. Like, but I mean, you're going to find a, a safe place to put this kind of device. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plain and simple. So, but it keeps it in a centralized location yep. and allows you, you know, especially if you have multiple devices at your home to organize everything. You have all your phones there. You, you know, maybe you've got young kids and it's like, get off the phone. That's your spot where you go. This yeah. is the phone charging sport. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's not in the rooms at night. It's a central location. You know where every phone is. And it's like, oh, you didn't plug it in. It's not this there. This is kind of what I'm thinking. Like, if, if this works as a great charger, which it looks like it's it's fantastic for this, mm -hmm. as a parent, I'm going to hide every other charger in the house. Yes. And it's and just... Stick it to here. Okay, when your phone's dead, put it on the charger. I know. Because, the charger. Because we've it's updated one. to one of, you know, something like this at home. Yeah. I have so many wall connectors now. <laughs> like uh, what am i doing you with need all more this? raspberry pies that's exactly what i need yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah oh that's I great mean, thanks Jeff. Uh, it comes thanks. with a one-year limited warranty which is kind of nice normal wear and tear Ooh. seals abuse misuse not covered damage I'm trying to see if there's anything else that's important to mention from the instructions i'm not seeing it um i like that it has the surge protection and everything else because your wall wart, you're just, how many times have you just plugged your phone into the wall? Mm -hmm. Well, exactly. And yeah. what happens if there's a power surge or something? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a bonus as well. Yep. Nice. So yeah, that's it. It is uh, the G cord six port, 10 amp USB charging station, specifically the black color. There you go. So <laughs> go to cat5.tv slash charger if you're interested in that particular one. Or, of course, follow that link and then you can find various um, alternatives as well. Amazon's kind of cool that way. Mm -hmm. You'll see some of the other options that are similar but different. Uh, if you need quick charge, then I guess that would be really the deciding factor. This one does feel like it's really like quite, it does feel pretty quite sturdy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I say that like, it really does. It yeah. feels oh, sturdy. It you know feels what? really good. I didn't even notice it. It's got like uh, rubber grip pads in there. Yeah, I felt that when I put my phone so, in. So, you know, which is kind of nice, holds the phone in place. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. Cool. I will say, in having used one of these now, there's one thing that makes me go, you could take this to the next level. That I, zapping feature. Well, the zapping feature would be <laughs> am By amazing. Cordless. Well, <laughs> cor actually, cordless would be kind of cool if these had cordless charging plates. But no, oh, yeah. to allow one USB, 
that that does data sync for a computer. So all six would be plugged in. You plug it into your computer and it allows so for So you multiple... want it to be a hub as well. How cool would a that powered be? powered hub. Tar yes. That would be a nice feature. I guess. But I think that's a whole new level. But, yeah, but then every phone would show up as a as a hard drive when you plug in your, your charger. No, but think about nightly syncs. Like you got all your family's mm, phones. Back so... up your family phones? Yeah. yeah, that would be a neat feature, I guess. That'd be yeah. kind of cool. I don't know if any of the devices do it, but I mean, now that I've used one of these, I'm like, mm -hmm. that would be a cool feature to have. Yeah. Next level. Yeah.